morning welcome back to another video and today <clears throat> we are going to pick up something special it's about three o'clock we've been up for an hour already we're at a gas station now so stay tuned for the ride we Website, put a picture in this island. I just want to leave. I just want to get going. <laughs> so we are getting it, paid him. We got the title and everything. Um, I think it'll do. And uh, if not, there's always a resale value. So, <clears throat> well, now we got to drive five hours back home. So this will be fun. But then we switched. Then we only got like an hour left of the drive, which isn't too bad. <clears throat> so far, so good. No breakdowns. Hopefully, it stays that way. But I mean, otherwise, <clears throat> smooth ride. Um, the bumps they can they can get to you, but I mean, it's not like every day we're gonna be taking it 400 miles, you know. <clears throat> so it won't be too bad. But otherwise, I mean. It's nice and warm in here. I got the heat cranked, but uh, yeah, we're about home. And then when we get home, I'll do a little walk around. Here's what it looks like from inside. Got the heat cranked. It is a manual, six speed. I got my Jolly Ranchers, but for the most part, it's not too bad. So this middle seat folds down, but it's just so weird being like so close to the road. like. It's just right there, you know what I mean? But otherwise, it's not too bad. First day of owning the Isuzu. We did some leads today. See, it's pretty full. I just pulled a trailer with a mower with a bagger on it. So now we're gonna dump. Pull these out. Swings over. Clip this guy. Under here, just like so. Let's do the other side. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, this was poking it, so I couldn't get it close, but that's pinned now. Now, we're gonna dump. We are dumping. The button is inside. <clears throat> but I figured I'd stand out here and videotape this for you guys quick. But this is definitely gonna be really nice versus a dump trailer having to stand outside because we can be in the cab pushing the button but also drive forward at the same time, so. <laughs> Oh, All our leaves, we're putting it down. <clears throat> and the nice thing with this is, you know, it's not so wide it's not way out here it's nice and close but we'll unhook these when she gets a little lower there we go and this guy off this one as well perfect this one's got to go first anyways Just like so. And this one goes. Push 
position. Then get that lined up, drops right in, good to go. So <clears throat> we are at the shop. Um, it is a couple days past when I was uh, recording, going to get it. Um, two days, I think, to be exact. And so we have the Isuzu in the shop because it's getting a little cold outside. So we'd like to keep it heated and warm. Uh, but I'm just going to do a little walk around and show you guys more up close. I know I kind of walked around it when we were there, but uh, we were all chatting and trying to get the deal done because it was cold and we just wanted to get on the road. But so I'm going to turn the camera around and we're just going to do a little walk around and talk about it a little bit. So up here in the front, um, that's kind of what it looks like. You know, you got the lights up top, whatnot. But <clears throat> I think our plan now is, you know, we're going to sand this down um, and just repaint it white, you know, freshen it up a little bit. And we'll come around to this side. Um, you know, all the lights work, headlights work, um, brights, whatever. <clears throat> and so... From the side here, um, I, I zoomed it out so we can get a little more visual. But yeah, from the side here, um, not too bad. Obviously, you know, we might paint the wheels or something like that. Just kind of freshen it up a little bit. Um, we will have to fix this. Um, just kind of pops out here. But, you know, that's not that's not a major thing. Um, you know, it's it's a little thing that can easily be fixed. Um, so no major problems really, um, you know, we might even go over this, <clears throat> but we might eventually, you know, put a magnet or logo or something on here as well. <clears throat> um, and then come around here, um, this right here, it sucks, but it was broke and that's just for the windshield. So that's, you know, that's nothing major again. Um, you know, it's right there. We can easily replace it. <clears throat> but um, nothing much back here, obviously. You can look in there. But, uh, and then once you come down here, you know, <clears throat> this is a 33 gallon uh, diesel barrel. So, it, you know, it can hold 33 gallons. And on the way home, um, I had to put 20 gallons in. And I think we filled up about an hour or so into the drive. So that means, you know, 20 gallons for about two and a half three hours of driving probably um another thing is you know we're gonna we're gonna scrape this old reflecting tape off you know we might put another coat of black paint on it freshen it up and i do have new reflecting tape in my cupboard so we're gonna run both sides uh with new reflecting tape all the lights work and then another thing is I don't know what happened here, but <clears throat> they must have welded it closed because this whole side must have came down at once because that's what this is probably for. So depending, you know, I might take it up to <clears throat> this welding shop and have them recut it. So that way we can make this whole side foldable again because um, that would be really nice for, you know, loading, well, pallets of salt, you know, so... But otherwise, um, under here, you know, tires aren't too bad. And that's actually got some of the original paint up here as well. It actually came from Tennessee. So it wasn't a whole lot. I mean, there's a tad bit of rust, but not nothing major, you know. And, you know, once again, might <clears throat> clean up the wheels a wee bit. And all the lights work. And here we go, you know, probably pull that off. We're going to have to get a heat gun and really take this off and sand it down but here from the back um you know all these lights work again we got our hitch um but these doors are really nice because i've had a couple dump trailers where you know the the securing pin um it just isn't so secure as it should be you know these you clip on and you for sure know it's closed which um there's been a dump trailer or two where you know, you pick up the pin and drop it in, but somehow the door swings open or something. And yeah, you know, it just never is good. So I like this, you know, it's not, you know, you get a $2 clip and clip it on there and it'll stay for sure. You know, you don't have to worry about it coming out. But <clears throat> one thing is, <laughs> so coming home from the dump, we uh, somehow lost this guy uh, for this side, which 
whatever, not a big deal. Um, easily replaceable. So, but you know, once again, all this reflecting tape coming off, we're gonna touch up the paint down there as well. Um, got our hitch to pull trailers and stuff, which is really nice because um, there are a couple yards I did solo for Lee's. And so I was able to pull a trailer with a mower and a bagger on it. And I was able to put them in here. So I was a one man crew basically, and it was pretty sweet. Um, coming around this side, you know, same thing, reflecting tape, painting the side. And <clears throat> pretty sure this side um, also folded down because there's a hinge up there or whatever you want to call it to, you know, clip it in. So, you know, we might end up doing the same thing, have them cut it and make it so it's foldable. Um, but otherwise, you know, tires again. But down here, not too bad. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to put this light on quick. Hopefully that light kind of helps. Um, but we got our toolbox here, which is pretty neat. Um, let's see. Let's open this bad boy. Kind of stiff, but <clears throat> I don't know what these exactly are. Maybe they're probably to, you know, set in the road or something. Um, kind of caution people. But I'm not sure. But toolbox, you know, this is always nice to have you can put straps you can put chains um tools whatever you need in here and so toolboxes are always good on work vehicles but it is a little stiff which kind of sucks but it is what it is <clears throat> um come along here um you know we got our batteries in here there's two of them um <clears throat> which we might end up replacing the batteries um because in the cold it's i mean it it's a little hard to start and we had to put some jumper cables on it but you know whether it's too cold or you know i don't know but we might end up putting new batteries on it come summer <clears throat> just in case but this is what i was talking about is i think they welded this closed which isn't a big deal but if it's easy enough to, you know, make this foldable again, I would definitely like to. <clears throat> and then back here, the cab raises, obviously. And inside here, not too much to it. Obviously, got the manual and got my gloves and the dump bed or the dump button. But uh, otherwise, pretty clean in here so far until we get it dirty. But not much to it. I mean, the heat the heat works, so that's all that matters to me. Um, and then come summer, hopefully the AC works. I guess we haven't tried that out. I don't exactly know what that is. I think it opens up something up top for some airflow, but horn works. Um, otherwise, this thing is definitely gonna be a mean machine, so. Well, <clears throat> that completes the Isuzu video. Go on and get in it. Um, like I said, it was about four and a half, five hours one way. And then we had to come back. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.